。你好，学富豪。你好，你去哪儿？我去火冰冰光。你有地址吗？我有地址。Hello again, I'm Jenny from Easy Chinese. Last time we have talked about、uh, how to greet people, and today we're going to learn. How to take different kind of transportations in China? And talking about transportation, I have to start from this character, this one. Chu Chu is a general term for all kinds of transportation, including ma chu ma is a horse, so ma chu is horse cart, and niu chu niu means cow, so niu chu means cow cart, and. 自行车，自 means yourself， 行 drive， you know self drive car， so 自行车 bike is a bicycle， 公交车 ，so it all end up with 车，公 means public， 交通 means transportation， so 公交车 means public transportation。So let's continue. 公交车 means public transportations, including 巴士巴士 is the direct direct translation from bus. Actually, is 巴阿巴士 in Chinese means bus. 地铁地 ground 铁 This character originally means iron. 地铁 means underground or, or subway. Uh. 出租车，出 means out， 租 rent， 出租车 rent out car means taxi， 火车火 means fire， so 火车 means train， because in the at the beginning， um the train engine was a steam engine burned the coal， so People refer train as 火车 and 汽车汽 This character means steam. It also original car was a steam engine. So 汽车 means car. And lastly, 飞机飞 means fly. 机 is a general word refer to any. Or the machine or engine. So, 飞机 is flying machine means airplane. When you first arrive China, or you only plan to stay in China for a short period, I would recommend you take taxi, 出租车 When you first arrive in the airport, you don't know, you know, maybe there is no、uh, train or no underground transportation connected to the city. So always take the taxi, and you can find the sign. Actually, it's a sign of a car. This sign can lead you to the designated place to take the taxi. Before you arrive to the designated spot, maybe someone will approach you, ask you, you know, where are you going. But don't answer these people because they are not the licensed taxi driver. We call them in Chinese 黑车 Which means illegal taxi driver. They will not able to provide you the official receipt. So if there is any dispute, you won't be able to trace back who was the driver. So remember, always follow the sign. Go to the official designated spot to take the legal license the taxi. Let's learn the simple conversations with the taxi driver. Of course, you can say what you have just learned last time. 你好 or If you want to impress the taxi driver, you can say 师傅好。师傅好。师傅 is a general term in China referred to all the workers. So you can say 师傅好。And the taxi driver may ask you. 去哪儿？去 means go. 去
哪儿 ，or he will maybe add one one word. 你去哪儿？你 you 去 means go. 哪儿 ？Where? So where are you going? To is the verb. 哪儿 ？Where? And then you can answer. 我去 wherever you want to go. Ah,、uh, for example, 宾馆宾馆 means hotel. Or 我去飞机场 Remember, 飞机 means airplane. 飞机场 means airport. 我去飞机场 Or 我去餐馆 restaurant. And then the taxi driver may ask you, "Do you know the address of the hotel, or do you know the address of the restaurant?" In Chinese, is 你知道 you 你 means you 知道 means no. 宾馆 hotel 的 means like of 地址 address. So the Chinese grammar, you know. 地址 in the last. 你知道宾馆的地址吗？或 or you can say 你 or or the taxi driver may ask 你有 have means you have 宾馆的地址吗？啊、uh, ，Do you have the address of the hotel? And you may answer yes. I know the address of the hotel or 我知道 in Chinese, or 我有 yes, I have the address of the hotel. Talking about the address, I recommend you print out the address of wherever you go before you get you call the taxi, so you can show to the taxi driver the card, you know, the print out version, because you know the Chinese、uh, character. If you slightly change the tone, can be another character. You don't want end up to the place you don't want to go, right? So you show to the taxi driver the card and clearly print out the address. Another suggestion, other than print out address, you know, on the、uh, card, or you can show the taxi driver your Google Map. So the taxi driver will think about if he wants to cheat you. you know? 你好，学富豪。你好，你去哪儿？我去过冰冰光。你有地址吗？我有地址，地址在这里。好的，好的。谢谢。Remember, Google probably is not working in China, but there is an equivalent version which is Baidu Map in China. You can search the place, the address from Baidu Map, and then show to the taxi driver. So now you are arrived, and then the taxi driver may say, "Dao le, dao, de ao, dao le." Dao means arrived. Le in the end means this action finished. Then you can ask, "Duo shao qian." Means how much? 多少钱 Of course, you may see the、uh, from the meter, taxi meter. You know how much, but the, you can ask how much. And I just gave you an example. The taxi driver may say 一百二十元百 means hundred. 十 means ten. One hundred. Two tens, yuan, yi yuan yuan, is the name of the Chinese currency yuan. And always remember to ask for the official receipt. So how to say it in Chinese? Qing. Gei. Wo. Fa. 票发票 means official receipt. 给 means give. 
Qing means please. Please give me receipt. Because the official receipt of the taxi, you know, uh, it has the plate number of the of the car, has the uh, company name, and clearly show what time you get on the taxi, what time you get off the taxi. In case if there is any dispute, you can call. Also, there is the number for the taxi company. You can call that number so the company will be able to trace back who at what time was driving you. So how to say in Chinese call a taxi is either you say 叫车, 叫 means call, call, 车, or 打车, 打车, 叫车, both means call a taxi. There are three ways to call a taxi. One is the traditional way, which you stand on the street, hail the taxi. Another way, actually, is that you can make a phone call. Um, most of the city, they print out this call-free number on this body of the taxi. So you can call that number to book your taxi. And the third way, actually, which is now become the most popular way, is to download an app, DD app, DD app. So there is even an English interface of this DD app. So you can use this app to book your taxi. Or, you know, most of the, if you're a foreigner, you live in a hotel or after a meal in the restaurant, you can ask the hotel concierge or the front desk of a restaurant to help you to call a taxi. So how to ask the help? Let's learn this sentence in Chinese. 能帮我叫辆出租车吗? 能, the could is like English. Could you? Bang means help. Could you help me call a taxi? 能帮我叫辆出租车吗? Mostly the hotel concierge or the front desk of the restaurant, uh, they will help you say, 没问题, 没问题, Actually, it's like English. May means uh, no problem. Wen ti means issue or problem. So the person may answer, no problem means of course I can help you. Ni shui hao. Ni hao. Nang bang wo jiao yang zhu 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 ma? Mei wen ti. Xie xie. So other than taking taxi, if you are traveling to a big city like Shanghai or Beijing in China, I also recommend you take the subway. If you want to buy a subway ticket, 我要买地铁票 means I 要want 买 buy 地铁 subway Ticket, piao means ticket. So you say, 我要买地铁票. Yeah, when you ask the person, 我要买地铁票, the person may ask you, 你去哪儿? Where are you going? You tell the person, 我去, 我去这里, or wherever you want to go, the place, the name of the place, 我去。这里, or 我去和平宾馆, you know, wherever you want to go. And the person may ask you, 三块钱 means 3元. 3元 means, you know, Chinese currency, 三块钱. 师傅,你好。你好。你好,我要买机械票。你去哪儿? 我去这里,和平宾馆。三块钱。
三块。好的，给我票，给你票，谢谢，再见，再见。Actually, the same conversation can be applied if you want to buy train ticket or even the airplane ticket. So the only word you need to change is here. You instead of say 我要买地铁票 you can say 我要买火车票 means train ticket. 我要买飞机票 means airplane ticket. So, but. Other than purchasing the subway ticket, when nowadays people, you know, purchase this train ticket and airplane ticket online, there is a very convenient website. is C Trip. In English, in Chinese, is 携程 This is a very convenient website. You can get on to purchase your train ticket or airplane ticket online. 师傅好，你好。你好。我要买呃火车票。你去哪儿？我去北京。好的，两百八十元。两百八十元，给你钱。好的，这是你的票。谢谢谢谢，再见。再见。That's all for today. How to take different kind of transportations in China, and remember to visit my website easychinese.com. There are many videos re regarding the basic Chinese characters, Chinese pinyin, pronunciation. Also, I have demonstrated many Chinese food recipes. So next time we are going to get into more interesting part how to order Chinese food in restaurant. Until then. Bye bye. Today I'm going to demonstrate a Chinese dish, which is、uh, the pig ear with the chili oil. The first ingredient is the pig ear. I already pre-cooked it. I boiled it in the water for about forty minutes. I'm going to slice it later. And the another ingredient is half cucumber and a whole bunch of、uh, coriander leaves. Few cloves of garlic. Chili flakes,、uh, about、uh, one teaspoon of this Sichuan peppercorn powder. I roast it first and crush it into powder. Roasted sesame seeds, light color, soy sauce, and Chinese black vinegar. Lightly crushed roasted sesame seed. Put it into this bowl with the chili flakes, garlic. Add a little bit pinch of salt. Crush the garlic like this. It is the flavor is much better than you just chop it. Sichuan pepper corn powder powder. Now I'm going to make the chili oil. Add about two tablespoons of oil. Heat up the oil, and then I'm going to pour the oil, the hot oil, on top of this chili flakes. So the oil now is hot enough. Let this、uh, chili oil cool down a bit. I will add a bit of、uh, sesame oil in this chili oil. Okay.、Uh, one tablespoon of、uh, soy sauce. One tablespoon of black vinegar. And now add the oil and sesame, chili oil and sesame. Now, mi now mix it. 